Good day, Tinkercad friends. Today I got a fun and fast project. We're going to create our own custom boat using the sweet boat haul that you can find in the all category of shapes. So let's get cracking. As usual, make sure that you choose the sign in option. We always use the sign in using social providers and Google. Once you're in, if it's your first time, make sure you hit the little picture of the Tinkercad logo so you can get to the create new design. Before we begin, let's actually name our project boat or ship and put our initials after it. All right, so now that we got it named, we need to go down to the all shapes. And there are tabs and tabs of amazing things that you can pick. We need to find tab number 12 to find the awesome boat hull. When you find the boat hull, simply bring it out onto your screen and let's look at its measurements. It has got a stern, a mid, a bow, a beam, and a depth. Let's change the stern to 10 real quick so we can find the back of our ship because that's what stern means. When you type 10 and press enter, give it a moment so that it can readjust and there is your stern. I'm going to zoom back out to the main screen. So see the W? I know that the bow is pointing at that. I'm going to change it back to 40 just to make my shape custom. But that way at least I know where my bow, my mid. I'm going to make this 30 so my ship is a little skinnier in this section. And then the depth is 20. I'm going to leave it like that. And the beam, I'm going to make it 30 so it's a little wider. At this point, you need to pick what kind of ship you're going to design. It can just be a fun ship. It can be a fishing boat. Maybe you want to make a crab boat. Maybe you want to make a warship, or maybe you want to make a tugboat. Any kind of ship that you want to make, this is where you get to have fun and come up with the design. One of the first skills you're probably going to want to do is put a cabin on top of your ship. I'm going to do that by using the work plane and clicking on that flat piece so the next part I bring out actually shows up there. I need to return to the basic shapes, bring out a cabin. I'm gonna make mine out of the cube. I'm gonna keep it that exact size, but I wanna hollow it out. To hollow it out, I'm gonna do duplicate, which is control D. I'm gonna raise the duplicate up so I can see it. I'm gonna make it a hole. I'm gonna hold down shift and shrink it a little. But then I'm going to click the box and I'm going to type 16. So I took away four from every side so that it cut out my shape. At this point when I do D to drop it, and then I draw a rectangle that touches only those two parts. So that touched the cube inside and the other cube. Now when I group them, that piece is hollow. I'm going to prove it to you real quick by adding a window. I'm going to just bring a cube out front, use the black handle to shrink it a little bit shrink it a little bit and then I'm going to use the arrow keys to drive it into that shape and I'm going to hold control up arrow to raise up my window to the spot where I want it. Let's zoom in nice and close with fit view and I'm going to just adjust this using my little black handles till it's just how I want it. I could use a line but I'm not gonna this time. One more tap to make sure it's in Notice my rectangle, I'm selecting both of these pieces and it says two shapes. When I group them, we will now be able to see in the cabin of my cute little ship. I wanna make a sweet door on the back. I'm gonna do that with another hole. Once again, sweet little black handles just to shrink it down how I want. I'm gonna make a rounded door. So I'm gonna press W and I'm gonna set the round roof on top of this piece. Notice it's at a bad angle, so I'm going to zoom to that exact shape, look at it from a corner, and when I get the corner, then I can find that awesome rotation handle so I can spin it around 90 degrees so it looks the way I want. I'm going to make it a hole. I'm going to just bring those edges right to each other. Miss that by one. Shrink this down to the appropriate arch that I like. And then these don't even have to be lined up. If I just take those two and grab them, and then I group them, that little archway will be created. And then I can turn it into a hole still. And then I want to select both of these. So right now I'm just grabbing that little window piece and the door. 
And when I align those two, it lines up beautiful. So now I just select those two shapes. And then when I group them, it cuts out that sweet little archway on my ship. Let's zoom out real quick. I'm gonna hit the work plane so it looks back to normal. Let's zoom out to that home view. I'm gonna grab the entire shape and I'm gonna use a line so that now I can get my cabin centered on my ship. Real quickly, I'm gonna add windows through the side. I'm gonna put that W on the bow again. Bring out my little window. Just shrink it to the size that I want. I'm gonna make both windows at the same time, so notice I made that really long. I'm gonna hold shift and select both of those items, and I wanna make sure that this window is centered on that side, and I wanna make sure it's centered this way. It moved my entire ship, which is not a big deal. I'll just move that back in a moment. If I do control up arrow, it lifts my window up to where I want. I'm gonna hold shift and select the red piece. So now it says two shapes and I can group those and I am back in business. Set the work plane back to the bottom. Let's center my ship again. This time I'm going to attach those two so they stay together by hitting group. Let's add a cool little piece to the roof. I'm gonna hit work plane and I'm gonna make my roof a little bit more fancy really quick. I'm gonna just make this a little wider than the current roof. If I hold down shift, it grows all at the same amount, but then I can shrink this down so that it's just a three millimeter piece. And then I'm gonna take the rotation tool and I'm gonna just rotate it a few degrees so that it's got a nice little custom slope. I'm gonna make sure that little piece is fancy by doing the rounding. I'm gonna give it a radius of two, so that'll even make it look more sharp. You can change the steps to whatever you want. I'm gonna set the work plane back to the bottom. I'm gonna grab the entire thing. Let's do that align and I'm gonna snap it this way. And I'm gonna snap it that way. So now that they're protected from the rain. Make sure that it goes all the way through, which it does. Let's group them so once again it starts to come together. And now I'm gonna say it is up to you to turn your ship into something incredible. Have fun, use cool things like multicolor so that you can make it any way that you want. Maybe add the fishing troller, the warship, the tugboat. Just see what kind of cool things you can come up with. Make sure you have a great time exploring all the cool things. You can add portholes, you can have life preservers, you can add all kinds of things. You can go to the characters and you can add Astrobot and turn him into a sailor. Uh, you've got the all features. You can have a diving ship anything you want you can put treasure just make sure that you use your time to make something totally awesome on your ship hey there friends i hope you had a blast and learned some real cool skills while you're making this sweet little ship uh, if you're in my classroom make sure you turn in a screenshot if you're out on the internet make sure you send a screenshot to us at hlmontech on instagram facebook or twitter friends if you found it useful please hit that like button if you've got a question comment or a suggestion add it down below if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for mash that subscribe button and last but not least hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me hl Mont Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.